My name is Tyler Stopp. I'm a manufacturing engineer and I help out with the different welding processes here at KST. My day-to-day -day usually entails studying uh, welding data from our different welding process, strip splice and orbital welding. Uh, that's usually getting feedback from x-ray inspections. If we're starting a new umbilical job, then I'll help out with the weld development process, make sure we're following all the customer requirements and all the specifications necessary. I'm kind of old school. If you see me walking around here, I usually have a notebook. In that notebook, I have a checklist. So at the beginning of each week, I kind of sit down and prioritize everything that needs to be done. And I just check them off as I go. My background is mechanical engineering, and it was actually quite a journey to get where I'm at today. So after high school, I enlisted in the Navy for four years. There I got stationed on board an aircraft carrier where I worked in the engineering department. I was responsible for maintaining air conditioning refrigeration units. This is kind of where I was introduced into different engineering practices, and I just fell in love with it. So early on, I just kind of came up with a plan. I was like, I'll do my four years. When I get out, I'll go to school for engineering. Stuck with that plan, graduated from OSU in 2022. I've been at Webco ever since. Of course, as an engineer, you're going to need to have, you know, your technical skills, troubleshooting, problem solving. But I think the most important skill from my experience is communication. I spend a lot of time out on the shop floor, you know, working side by side by the operators. If I implement a new process, procedure, or a piece of equipment, I need to be able to clearly communicate to them, give them all the tools necessary to complete the job. You know, we have multiple projects going on at once, different umbilical jobs that usually have multiple sizes. They have their own procedures, specifications that we have to follow. So you just have to be on your P's and Q's and really stay on top of things. I do a lot of uh, reading and research in my own time. Um, I've also had the opportunity to go to different professional development uh, courses, things like that. I think last year I got to go to a Mechatronics Expo. Also the Tech Forum every year, I get to attend that and see the latest developments going on inside of Webco. It's, it's pretty cool and inspiring. I think Webco is different from others, just solely in the fact that they're willing to invest in their people and product development. When I was a new engineer, I had people like Steve Obermark, Jared Heinemann, and my manager now, Raphael, that have all invested time in me and made sure I have all the tools necessary to succeed to make Webco better. As far as product development goes, I mean, look at the new tech center. They have all the state-of-the-art equipment, a new R&D lab uh, where we can continue to focus on the future. Obviously, welds are passing, the coil edit lines are moving, but for me, I feel successful when I'm able to work on a team and solve difficult problems. Webco is a team of awesome people where your voice matters. It's also a company that will ensure you have everything you need to be successful, both on a professional and a personal level. You don't really see that in other companies.